Hi everyone, welcome to Technical CEO. If you are a technical geek, please subscribe the channel. For latest technical news and updates, hit the bell icon to know more. Hey guys, welcome back to Technical CEO. Finally, I am back with you all after a slow long time. It's been a very hard days for me. I was having my exams, coaching, tuitions, all of that. So finally today I have came up with a new topic and our today's topic will be smoke alarm. Yes, you heard it right. Today is our smoke alarm day for you. Here you can see I have made a demo of the indicator. It's nothing but a black box with an LED indicator and above it it is written fire. You can see the wire from the black box coming to my circuit and here is my circuit with a smoke sensor. The sensor is blinking with a red LED. You can see that. This is the MQ2 sensor which detects gases, some pollutants of carbon dioxide and etc etc. This and this black round cylindrical object is the buzzer which buzzes the sound. This is our battery, this is our IC LM7805, this is some capacitors with wires, variable potentiometer and the sensor. Now I will explain you all of it, all the construction, the components required the process, how I made up everything. So carefully watch the video till the end. Sorry for the video disturbances. Now I will show you a demo. The working of this smoke sensor. Here I am lighting a stick with a match, match stick, sorry the lighter and the smoke emitting from it is detected by the sensor as you are seeing that the smoke although the detector is sensing the smoke but it cannot but it can't detect i mean it can't glow the led or it can't indicate because i am having a small potentiometer there and this potentiometer is nothing but a variable switch which regulates the accuracy of the sensor now here you can see with a tester I am increasing or decreasing the potentiometer. See it carefully. You saw that? Yes, when I am increasing or decreasing the variable resistance, the sensor the sensor's power gets increases and while I am slowly removing or decreasing the resistance it is losing its power so this is a accurate this increases or decreases the accuracy of the sensor now i have balanced or biased the sensitivity of the sensor in a balanced way now when in presence now it's in the presence of smoke it will detect you hear that the buzzer buzzes and the led glows Our circuit is now fully functional. It is as simple as water, nothing complex it is here. The main purpose of this potentiometer is that it increases or decreases the accuracy of the sensor. At the beginning when the circuit was unable to detect the smoke, it was if we at then if we introduce these variable potentiometer to some level i mean if we increase the resistance with the tester it will detect the pollutants of air like carbon dioxide and minor pollutants like all other gases so it will blow up the led or it will ring the alarm as an indicator so we need to balance the potentiometer with the accuracy of the sensor here you can see here you can see now again when we are giving this smoke it is now detecting and the LED glows up with the buzzer ringing. So here we have balanced the potentiometer with the accuracy of the sensor. There lies the main main point. Here is the trick of understanding the circuit. Now that's what all of I got you for today. And the circuit diagram which is the main thing is I am showing you now. Now here at the circuit you can see that the 
Main supply is the 9V battery source along with it going the LM7805, the voltage divider, sorry, the voltage dropper or uh, step down transformer. It decreases the 9V power supply to 05 voltage decrease level i mean 9 volt minus 5 volt so after that from that output port the current is going along with a bypass capacitor c1 connected one with ground and other with the plus positive 5 volt source the above line is the plus 5 volt source you can see it is noted there plus 5 volt now after slowly going there, here is the sensor, MQ2 sensor or smoke sensor. sensor. I have used as MQ2 sensor here with the 4 input ports, analog output, digital output and one VCC and one ground. Here we are dealing with analog, so we are connecting the analog input or output with the R2 10K which is 10K and this is the variable register which I was increasing or decreasing with the tester. Here you can balance the accuracy of the seed detector or the sensor now connect the circuit as connect the component as shown in the circuit with one pin at the ground and two pin at the vcc and one pin like the analog output a1 with the variable port and d1 is the led which will glow up along with a 1k resistance at its positive terminal and the negative terminal of the led is connected to the collector of the BC547 transistor amplifier and you can provide a feedback of SG1 buzzer with this which one port will be above the R R1 which is 1K and at the negative terminal of the diode so this is all of the circuit for you and if you find any complexities in making the circuit you are free to comment below in the comment list and I will definitely make a video for you all along with the circuit and along with the components and with the makeup and all the components I have used here are given below in the description so please check it out. So that's all of what we got for you today and please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel in the video and please please support us we need your support. So thank you once again for joining with us here today. See you soon in our next video.